please take this opportunity to adjust the volume on your television set. <coughs> Millions of disease-causing <gasps> germs are launched into the atmosphere every time someone coughs or sneezes. It is customary to cough and sneeze into one's hands, supposedly to prevent the spread of germs. But germs get onto the coffer's hands and are spread to telephones and doorknobs, and from there they are spread to other people's hands and mouths and who knows where else. The best place to cough is into fabric, such as one's sleeve, where germs are trapped while they desiccate and die. But people in polite society do not cough into their sleeves. Such behavior is frowned upon. The purpose of this video is to make coughing into one's sleeve fashionable and even patriotic. It's the right thing, the polite thing to do. You will now see four excellent, slightly different coughing techniques executed first into the right sleeve and then into the left. The technique will vary depending on your dimensions, the flexibility of your joints, whether you are wearing long or short sleeves, and your ability to cough at an angle. Notice the slight change of position during a sneeze with the nose a little lower. You will now see a series of coughs and sneezes performed by random subjects. Their coughs will be judged by our panel of three infectious disease experts, Dr. Graham Stain, Dr. Blood Hagar, and Dr. Polymorph. First, the coughs. <coughs> that would be a four. That's a the four left hand was needlessly contaminated. <coughs> Ten. Perfect. Nine. Hand on opposite Nine. shoulder Nine. creates a mask no deal. Messing up his beautiful suit. <coughs> Four point Five. seven. Four. He should the cough and way too like leaky at the elbow. With long arms. Eight. Seven point six. I Practical. like it. almost as good as the black suit guy. <coughs> that is zero. Oh, geez. What planet did he come from? Now, the sneezers. <laughs> Two. One. He contaminated his hands. Yuck. Why bother with the Kleenex? Why do they always smile when they're finished? <laughs> That's a one. Her right she hand is more dangerous now. than her left. Five. Five points. His hand got hit. Impractical. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Wow. Nine. Great Nine. German Nine. Trap. Nearly he perfect. Messed up their hair. Who let him back in? <laughs> Get that guy Disgusting. out of here. He doesn't rate the Yuck. time of day. A perfect 10. Nine point well, ten. Can I awesome. Say? She's the one to imitate. We must train ourselves to cough into the nearest appropriate fabric, which is usually a sleeve. Most healthcare garments lend themselves well to this technique. Unfortunately, many street clothes do not. To avoid messes, we should formulate coughing strategies for the clothes and accessories we are wearing each day. Oh, I could have saved my shirt if I did that first try. Paper tissues are good cough receptacles when they are placed over the mouth properly, but using them usually results in hand contamination. They should not be reused. Handkerchiefs suffer from the same hand contamination and reuse problems, and they have the additional disadvantage of poor accessibility. From an infection control standpoint, the perfect answer would be an armband that could be changed after each use. However, society is not yet ready for such a radical change. So, in keeping with the recommendations of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, why don't we just do it in our sleeves? It's the right thing. It's the polite thing to do. And remember, if you make a mistake and cough or sneeze into your hands, Please, wash them immediately. <laughs>